The Notabome Telestep trailer is extendable to 48 metres, which is nearly 160 feet, and it's used to carry blades for wind turbines. This model is in the colours of the Swedish trucking company Tourhagen. It arrives in what is certainly a very big box indeed. But it is a high quality presentation box because inside there's nice foam rubber around the model parts. Opening the lid and the truck only occupies a small part of the box. There's the Scania tractor unit and the Telestep trailer. There are also a bag of small parts which get used, but there are no instructions with this particular model. The thing that's made the design of the box as big as it is, is the wind turbine blade. And this is quite a heavy piece which is nicely wrapped in soft paper. When you get it unwrapped it's quite an impressive piece, and because it looks quite dangerous it's the sort of thing that would be taken away from you if you tried to take it on board an aeroplane. <laughs> Assembly of the tractor and trailer is easy, you just offer up the kingpin on the trailer into the fifth wheel on the tractor and push it home, and then the two are joined up. The next job is to fully extend the Telestep trailer and that's where things get interesting because it really does stretch out to a very impressive length indeed. Even so, the blade is still a little bit longer than the trailer. To mount the blade, WSI provides some plastic wooden pallets. And they're not all the same design because some clip together and then you get a smooth one that goes on top. And you form two stacks of those for the rear end of the trailer. And at the front end there are two special pallets which have some additional timbers on to match the round end of the turbine blade. With the pallets assembled they can now be placed onto the trailer and I'll assemble it the same way that WSI show in their photos of the model. To protect the blades in real life soft materials are used and some are provided with the model which is a nice touch and you rest the blade on it, and then you secure it using a strap that's provided. It's elasticated and hooks onto one edge of the trailer, you just run it over the top of the blade, and hook it onto the other edge of the trailer. That's all neat, and it works quite well, and you just do the same at the two pallets at the other end of the trailer. With the load secured, you're then ready to display the model, and that might be a bit of a challenge, because it's over 90 centimetres, or 3 feet in length. The underneath of the Scania tractor is certainly very detailed with excellent transmission and an exhaust pipe that goes out the side. The tyres are good and they're mounted on really nice looking wheels. There's a good array of beacon lights and spotlights on the roof, but it's the paintwork and graphics on the cab which is exceptional, and it mirrors the stunning decoration of the real truck. There are plenty of fine details on the cab, but it's the graphics which really catch the eye. The paintwork at the rear is really good too because just the ridges of the non-slip surfacing have been highlighted in silver and tiny bolt heads between the wheel arches are highlighted too. At the rear good quality lights, a number plate and more graphics add to an authentic look. In this case the answer to 8x4 is not 32, but truck chassis are often described like this so what does it mean? Using the review model as an example, the 8 refers to the fact that there are 8 sets of wheels, and the 4 refers to the number of driven wheels that receive power from the engine. So if we take another example, this chassis has 4 sets of wheels, 2 of which are driven, so it's a 4x2. So here's another example where you can test yourself, and if you're very smart, you'll have realised that's not a truck. The underside of the trailer is excellent, with the aluminium and wood structure of the deck clearly visible and there are plenty of hoses which run to the detailed axles. The wheels look good and there are some graphics along the deck edge, and the headboard is good although it didn't seem quite straight on the review model. The deck surface is very good and there are tiny screw holes in the wood effect planks, and the rear of the trailer is also busy with plenty of detail. 
The big resin blade is simple but effective, and there is some slight texturing at the hub end to represent a cover. The red parts are also finished well, so the whole thing looks pretty good. It's time for the test track and the Scania cruises along well enough in a straight line. The wheels all turn freely and there's no working suspension. And although there is a very limited amount of steering movement, it really is limited. And also on this model, it's slightly spring loaded, so it won't actually stay steered and always wants to return to the straight position. So it's hard to pose it steering. However, the tilting cab works just fine. It tilts to a good angle and can stay tilted. And underneath there's a detailed engine which has got some coloured components, so it's well worth a good look. And when you're done, the cab closes up with a nice satisfying clunk. The Telestep trailer is engineered really well. It rolls along just fine and it's got a working suspension on all of the four axles. Also, the feature that works particularly well on the axles is the steering. All the axles are linked together and the steering is proportional so the rear axle on the trailer turns more than the innermost axle. And that means when the steering is set and you give it a try out on the test track, it really does trace out a nice curve. At the front of the trailer there are a couple of landing legs and they can just be unscrewed. And by doing that they get lowered so the trailer can be supported if it's not attached to a tractor. And this feature works effectively on the model. Another display option that you have is that you can fit the metal deck posts and they just go into holes all the way along the edge of the deck. And plenty are supplied so they can be configured in any arrangement that you want. And the only thing that some of them might require is a little bit of adjustment to get them to stand up perfectly straight. However, the feature which is the nicest is the extending deck. It's really smooth and the telescopic beam is actually modelled in aluminium rather than in die cast. And that also means that the walls of the beam are realistically thin. So it's a great piece of model engineering and there's also a transverse beam which slides along and you can position that anywhere too. The Telestep trailer is an excellent model with great detail and features. And on this model it's combined with a Scania tractor which really looks stunning in its colour scheme. In summary it's a big impressive model and it's one that's outstanding. <laughs>